we're here with Yvonne Okoro. I mean, today is probably, it's not my birthday, but it feels like it's my birthday. Randomly came here, well, I knew we stopped them. We followed all of them, where stars go. And now we have Yvonne Okoro, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about herself, um, the Ghanaian movie industry, and being fabulous, because that's what she is. Thank you so much for taking time out of the party to come and talk to us. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's lovely. I I was approached and then I was sold it as for Sierra Leoneans or something yes, like that. Yes, that's, that's television great. in Sierra Leone. And actually, I actually said, you you watch Ghanaian movies. I was really surprised. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, come to, come to Sierra Leone. Nice. I, I will. And see day. people following you around. Wow. Isn't, isn't, isn't that cool? So, no. Sierra Leoneans are in love with Ghanaians and really? Ghanaian movies. Yes, it's really, really big. It's so big we have to come here and bring you guys to them. Wow. Yes, you know, you guys, I mean, I think that Nigerian movies, of course, broke into the industry yeah. first, into Sierra Leone. But Sierra Leoneans kind of feel like the Ghanaian movie industry tell alternative stories, that they're a little bit more unexpected. Okay. Yeah. You know, that the direction or the way the story, and you're like, hmm. I definitely didn't think, think that, that was going to come. Exactly, that okay, exactly. That that so how long have you been acting? I can't remember. I just know that I started right after I finished my senior secondary school. And I had nothing to do. And I was sitting and I was like, I pretended to have this phone call from a minister, which wasn't true. And my mom was sitting next to me and I was like, oh, thank you. I, was, I, I actually fabricated this whole story that the minister was saying that I, was, I did really well in my, my exams and they wanted right, to come back right, to me. Right. And my mom actually thought it was true. So when I finished, I was like, yeah, right. And then she was like, was I kidding? I was like, yeah, it was a joke. And she thought that I did so well in lying or fabricating that story. She was like, you know what? You should just go into acting. So oh. it was from that time. So I think right about, it was almost five years, if I'm not, yeah. Almost five years. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So your mom got you into acting. Yeah, definitely. Um, after you closed her, as we would say in Korea, we say you closed her, you impressed her with your talents. How did you then go and build on what was clearly already a natural gift? Um, I don't know what happened. I just know that um, Theo Akutuba, Point Blank Media, and. Uh, they called me for some funny reason. I don't know how they got my number. They called me and they were like, I should come in for auditions for this TV series, Sticking to the Promise. And I did. And when I got the role, then they had this other TV series that was already playing in Ghana, which was like a big hit, Tentacles. So I went in again and I played a lead role in Tentacles. And it just started from there, like from one place, from one audition to another. But I've actually just been for an audition just like once, I think. But it's just funny what, how uh, I was received and it's, it's, it's great. So every other role is written with you in parts. Like they call you and say, Yvonne, we have a role for you. We have a role you. for you. Or sometimes it's for somebody and they think, okay, you know what? Probably we should give it to you instead. It's, right, it's sometimes you're a like better that. match. <laughs> sometimes, okay. well, I guess. Well, when you have talent, you have talent. Yes. You, I mean, when God has blessed you, you just take it and shine. That's what I'd say. So that's great. Um, how many movies have you been in so far? Can you even keep down? Um, I can't. But ever since I got back from France, uh, I I have been in about wow. Okay, it's not okay, like ten. And how long ago did you get back? It's almost seven months. Okay, so in seven months you made ten. Yeah. Movies. For I don't know by any standards, I think that that's a heavy workload. So how do you find time to relax and live your life and? Maybe pursue your hobbies, I don't know, whatever it is Yvonne likes to do. I, I don't. I think that's, I'm planning on taking a, a trip because I think that you sh everybody should. There should be some, you should have this leisure time that you yeah. have on your hands. And that, that is, I don't really. It's either I'm working or I'm at home. Okay. And most of the time, sometimes I can get home like very late, like around 12 midnight. Right. And the next morning I have to be up like six mm -hmm. to go back to work. So. I don't really, but I think, I, like what I said, I'm going to take time off right. and then just concentrate on myself and be me. Okay. So what's coming out now? What's new? What should people look out for? I know I've done a couple of movies, uh, right? Uh, what, what did I do? I just did some movies. Well, my movies are coming out. There are more movies coming out right now, which I did with Majid, and it's, it's totally different. It's this kidnapping movie, which I think 
will be good. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm planning on starting my own foundation. Okay. And um, as well as I'm writing a book, so hopefully really? I will launch it soon. Is it yeah. a fiction? Or uh, it's a kids. It's a kids. Are you writing story a kids book. story? Because I, I, I actually my my when I went to London, my my baby cousin, which I love so much, my auntie always is like read to them, and I used to think, oh goodness, I was never read to. Right. So it used to be very annoying. But I got to the point where I actually enjoyed it, and then they they pick up so fast. They're very intelligent. So I realized right. that we don't have that in Ghana, in right. Africa. Like people don't really concentrate or invest in that kind in of early childhood yeah, development, which I think is the best. That's awesome. What's best. the book gonna call? I don't know. I'm not telling you don't right know yet. I don't know right now. I don't know yet. But I have I've had some working titles, but I don't know if it's the best because you need something that's very eye catching okay. that the kids will probably want to know. Oh yes. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Before I go, one last thing I'm sure everybody likes to know. So the game. Yeah. You were a bad girl. <laughs> Where, I know that you are not a bad girl, but where did you find the, I don't know, the oomph to be such, to play such a role? I, I don't know. I think, I don't know. And with John? It's probably John. It's how probably do you, the how director. How do you not throw yourself at him? Yeah, he's, he's pretty cute. Yes. He's, really cute. he's fine. Thank you. Yes. No. But I think that when you work with them, for some funny reason, you, yeah. you get to know all their disadvantages. So it's like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like when people are drooling over them, you're like, mm, yeah, yeah, that's, that's just John. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. so that was Yvonne Okoro. It's Gollywood Uncensored behind the scenes with your favorite Ghanaian actresses and actors. And it's been a blast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to everybody who made the show possible. My mother, thank you. I love you. And we'll see you next time on the Vikramo Show, My African Adventure. Mm -hmm.